5.45 in the morning on Saturday of all days. We're already an hour and a half late. Just for veggies. Things we do. A fresh veg. Everything around here gets started so early. Which seems so odd for a sleepy little town. Uh, they're not so sleepy. These people are up at like 3 and 4 a.m. every freaking day. It's amazing. We spent like 52 bucks. 52, 53, one tip. The melons are freaking expensive. Six dollars for that melon. Six dollars for that melon. It wasn't marked like everything else. We should have known. Next yeah, time. that's okay. We got lots of really yummy stuff. We're gonna be vegan for a month to eat all this. It's okay. No fresh produce in the two emotus. Okay. Yes, we're ready. <laughs> Your pack overfloweth. Yeah. I wish you go look at the fish. I don't know how I feel about that. All the dinghies are right here. <laughs> <laughs> are you like, you're itching to get down there, right? Right, yeah, uh-huh. This would not be the time to fall off the dinghy. No, do not fall off the dinghy here in Nukahiva. <laughs> So big and can't get the whole thing in there. Yeah. It's not double rainbow. No. <laughs> back on land with the rainstorm. We had to go check on the boat, drop off the veggies. We're back for two reasons to get our illegal, no, our black market eggs and check on our video. And it's been uploading since, what, Thursday? It's now Saturday. Yeah, we started on Thursday. Oh my gosh, I hope it's done. I have a feeling it's not. And look, it's like dead quiet here. No more fishing people, no more market people. And it's 8.30, it's like, <laughs> it's early. Wow, on a Saturday, did I tell you it's Saturday? So the other day, we came to all the stores asking to see if anybody had any eggs, and everybody said no, everybody's out. Been out for a couple of days, but anyway, because I asked in French, I think, um, the lady was, I guess, impressed or she just was like, appreciative. Hey, shh, shh, shh. Yeah, so she was like, shh. She called me over the side and she was like, you want, how many eggs do you want? And I was like, oh, okay, I have a dozen? And she was like, okay, come tomorrow, my friend Marcel, he will have them for you. And she wrote like a little note, put my name on it and everything else. And sure enough, Marcel came too. Yay! So we have those names. <laughs> and it's raining again. <laughs> to the yacht services. Moment of truth. Which is I don't even have an answer because it's so slow. It just says uploading. It won't even tell me what the percentage is. We checked early this morning and it was at 30% and that's after three days. So 
10% a day. Uh. So yeah, that's how slow the internet is here. It's so slow and then there's just so many people apparently all on the same satellite. Like the entire island has one satellite that everybody then divvies off of. So it's just slow. We got up at five so we could be here at the boulangerie by six so that we could get bread before they close at seven. Literally everything was gone except for baguettes and something with fake sprinkles that did not look very appetizing. <laughs> I think it was just cake. Oh, just cake. Yeah. No sprinkles. And we asked her what time we should get here. She said four. If you want a croissant. Ah, I don't know how to say crap in French. Le crap. Le crap. <laughs> it's the lazy people bread. <laughs> I see chocolate. Donuts. Those look like beignets. Why not? Brownie for breakfast. <laughs> I thought it was a chocolate like tour, but it's it's like literally brownie. Yeah. <laughs> so much for chocolate croissant, you, you went all in. Now what did you get? Kind of like a little raisin pastry thing. Is it good? good? Yeah. Yum. from there and that lady on our way to some ruins hopefully no no we passed the ruins so did we yeah oh where are we going to the top of the mountain okay well see i don't even know where we're going you have grapefruit <laughs> oh spoils along the way this is a road hike to the very very top ish Supposed to be a grand view. Can we have our friend's holiday? We are definitely making some elevation here. Closer. Woo, everybody sweating? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Listening. Fully grinned. Listening, yeah. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Wow. Yep. The view is pleasant, the smell is not. Yeah, made it to another lookout. Tyler. The downside of shooting time lapse. <laughs> you gotta catch up. Eventually. All the birds are singing and it is just incredibly beautiful. Absolutely stunning up here. It's like a whole different world. Oh, aren't you lovely? Hi. 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 <laughs> The elusive fork in the road. <laughs> Five miles away. Going on the road straight and then from the right. This must go around and I think, around. There, well, there was another fork back there. It went back. Oh. It went, it went back. Whoa. Crazy. Mm -hmm. Those guys are sketchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That was big. Cool, centipede. He was like, I don't know, six, seven inches? Yeah, yeah, seven inches, and he flew across the street. Man. Gnarly. It's cool. You guys want to walk or ride? Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Uh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Messy. Messy. Oh, wow. super exhausted you could totally hitch a ride down everybody is super nice or if it was raining or if it was raining yeah. the locals are really good about pulling over to ask you if you want to ride we got offers on the way up and on the way down so it's really nice look at that it's a wild pig he's a real beaut I just want to get a picture of the big charging and then get too close. <laughs> and action. And action. Aren't you friendly? Well, you're going to bring Wait, you think this is a bad idea? <laughs> 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 we'll watch from the safety of right back yeah, here. Yeah, right over here. Aww. Aww. That's actually a big cat. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> the peanut, <laughs> peanut gallery. Yeah. Oh, he just went down the mountain. Yeah. Ha! That was pretty cool. That was totally right. I got a good video from the There he goes. Bye bye, Mr. Piggy. Hi. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, there he is. Wow. You look so in your element there. Yeah. Find me some truffles. Yeah. Find me some truffles. Wouldn't that be sweet? This is the friendliest wild pig I've ever seen. I know. You're not done. 11.7 miles in. So this is Cueva. On our way. Is, I think a tiki. We're supposed to see a tiki. Our first tiki. Our first tiki. Whoa, that is a big banyan. Holy cow. <laughs> nice. Look at that. It's like traveling back in time. It's awesome. Is the guy literally leaving us up there? Yeah. Jeez. Now I feel like I have to go. <laughs> we weren't sure of where we were or <laughs> if we were even in the right direction. So asked the guy who was chopping some wood. Sure enough, he's like this way. And now he's actually leading us to the site. They don't get a lot of tourists here, but I am surprised with their hospitality that they don't get a lot more. This is the entrance to Coiva. Whoa. Cool. Talk about an opening. That's amazing. That tree is mind blowing. That's just nuts. That's a big tree. So what is this? Ah, I have no clue. We've been told it's a tiki, we've been told it's a sacred site, we've been told they used to have an event here every year, a big ceremony, and they would sacrifice a person and cannibalize them. So they stopped having that festival. <laughs> so I don't know, a lot of lore, a lot of obviously history happened here, and it's a, a sacred place still to them today. Very impressive. Yeah. Before the Western explorers came and brought diseases, the population was estimated at 50 to 100,000. That's a lot of mouths to feed on a small island. Why cannibalism existed is still in debate, but one theory is it was simply for food. Of course, ritual was a big part of it, whether it was an offering to the gods or a warrior's way of gaining more power. This 
pretty mind blowing really. It just goes on and on. Easily get lost through here pretty quickly, but seems everywhere we turn, there's another little structure, some sculptures carved into the rocks. I mean, it's beautiful and vast and impressive and definitely feels sacred. Like you can feel the history, the stuff that has gone on here. It's no joke. We made it! 15 miles done today. About what do we say, 2,000, almost 2,000, 1,800 feet elevation? Yeah. Something like that. 31,000 steps and a whole bounty of fruit, a backpack full of star fruit that we picked up along the way and the wild trails. It's pretty awesome. I'm exhausted. <laughs> what a day. It started at 5 in the morning and now it's sunset. So, yeah, 5.30 in the evening. We're finally back. <laughs> Oh. I see them. Cheers guys and thanks for watching. If you're curious, you'll find additional thoughts, photos and tips on our shiny and newly revamped website. If you've never clicked over, there's no time like the present. <laughs>